I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you to understand domain and range of an exponential function. So what I'll do is I'll just write down x exponential function. Let's say y equals to minus 2 to, uh, to the power of x minus 5. Let's take uh, plus 3 here, right? So let us say this is the exponential function you can pause the video and write down domain range for this particular function right now in this function what do we observe we observe that it has been translated three units up right so so what we observe here is let me write down so it goes three units up three units up and then here what we see is reflection on x-axis now these are the two things which really affect domain and range for exponential function I know there is a horizontal translation also let me add that right so it is horizontal translation 5 units right okay but that really doesn't affect domain and range so we'll look into these transformations and then write down domain range for such functions now exponential functions what is the domain of any exponential functions so domain has no restriction and that is the reason why this has no effect correct so horizontal translation have no effect right so domain has no restriction so domain for this function will be x belongs to real numbers correct so that is why correct as far as range range is restricted correct this is for your understanding as you know we have a horizontal asymptote right So the function is trying to approach this asymptote that is one thing on one side and on the other side it is unbound right it is not bound so range is restricted it is on one side of horizontal asymptote now since there is a reflection so so there is a reflection here that means the graph let me now kind of sketch this graph for you so that you get an idea now in this particular case translated three units up will be kind of like this right so that becomes your horizontal asymptote we're talking about right so this is horizontal asymptote which is this three units up right and this reflection here indicates so this reflection here means the graph will be instead of going up like that it will just go like this right so I'm not really bothered about the values since I'm interested in domain and range right so it's going below this line right and this line happens to be at y equals to 3 right so clearly the range for the function is y belongs to real values real numbers where y is less than the horizontal asymptote 3 right that reflection so let me summarize here to write domain and range of an exponential function it is important to understand that domain has no restrictions right and therefore any transformations which are horizontal stretch or compressions or translations will not affect the domain as far as the range is concerned we have to consider the vertical transformations since they define the horizontal asymptote and the reflection if the reflection is there then it is below the horizontal asymptote the range and if the reflection is not there on the x-axis in that case the range is above the horizontal axis and that is how you get your answer I hope that helps thank you and all the best